this screencast is going to demonstrate how to play the product game and we use the product game in our first unit called prime time and this helps us to understand um, how we use multiples, how we find multiples, and how multiples are actually related to the product of a multiplication problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at the directions for the product game that are shown on the screen. So these are going to look somewhat complex, but we're going to actually play through a quick game um, using an online version of the product game, just so that you guys have a little bit of an idea of how to play this game before we put you into groups. So let's go ahead and read over the directions. Per first direction says that player A puts a paper clip on, an, on a number in the factor list. So the factor list is down here. You're going to put a paper clip on one of these numbers. Player A does not mark a square on the product grid because only one factor has been marked. It takes at least two factors to make a product because you have to have two numbers multiplied together in order to get an answer to a multiplication problem or a product. Then it says step two, player B puts the other paper clip on any number in the factor list and then player B may select the same number marked by player A. So you could have two paper clips on the number three because three times three is nine. Player B then shades or covers the product of the two factors on the product grid. So if, for example, both paper clips are on the three, they would do three times three, and player B would mark nine with his or her color. Then it says player A moves either of the paper clips to another number, so it does not have to be their specific paper clip that they put down, and then they would shade or cover the new product. Step four, it kind of goes over like the whole purpose of the game. So it says that the players take turns moving one paper clip and marking the product. If a product is already marked, the player does not get a mark for that turn. The winner is the first player to mark four squares in a row. So it's kind of like um, connect four. So you have to get four in a row. They can be up and down, across, or diagonal. So let's go ahead and play a round of this game. So you'll see this is the online version of the product game. You guys will actually be playing with paper and pencil or colored pencils and paper clips. This is just an electronic form. So we're, we have player one and player two, and we're just going to go through and kind of look and see how you would go about playing this game. So as the direction said, player one would move a slider on the factor list. So see how it says move a slider on the factor list and press the OK button. So I'm going to take this slider and I'm going to move it to the number seven and click OK. Notice I don't get to mark any number because I only have one number currently selected on our factor list. So now it's player two's turn. Let's say player two wants to move their slider to the number two. Now I know that I have seven times two and seven times two is 14. So player two gets the number 14. It's now my turn. I can move the slider to any number. I can move either slider. So if I chose to, I could move the 2 to 3, and I have 7 times 3 is 21, so I can block player 2 so they cannot get 4 in a row diagonally. Now it's player 2's turn again. Maybe they want to move this so that it's 3 times 4, because now they can mark this 12, which is next to 14, and now they have 2 in a row. So now my turn, I should be looking to see if I can block any way, and I could do 9. So I could do three times three. Remember, you can put a marker on the same number. So you could have both markers on a number at the same time. And I'm going to block nine from them. Now it's their turn again. So they might look and say, hmm, what could I do next? Well, I could do three times something to get to 24. Maybe they want to do three times eight to get to 24. Now I need to start looking and trying to get four in a row for myself. So instead of trying to block them this time, I'm going to go ahead and move my 8 marker to my 6 and do 6 times 3, which is 18. And then it would be player 2's turn again. Remember, the whole objective of the game is to get 4 in a row. So let's play like 2 more rounds, and then we'll go ahead and have you guys get started with this. So if I was player 2, I would probably want to move this to the number 1. Click OK, because now I have the number 6 marked off. My turn, I'm going to move 6 to 3 and click OK. Notice that player 2 can't do anything to get to 35 right now, so they're going to just have to kind of do something random to get a number marked on the board. So maybe they want to do like 3 times 5, which is 15. Notice because they did that, I can't do anything to get to 28. 
So I'm just going to probably do 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Now I can start going maybe in another direction. So if player 2 goes again, they could move this to 7, and player 2 would win the game. So this was just a quick game. So let's go ahead and take a look at the directions one last time. So go ahead, read over the directions, and then you can start playing once you feel comfortable. You will have the directions in front of you to help you and refer to during the game. Good luck!